Ooh, that's a nice Volvo. Oh, that one's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. What's up, guys? It's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so uh, today we got Lawrence on the road. Right on. Um, I'm pretty stoked. So what I did, I wanted to just get this thing driving uh, just so I can do, you know, the basic mods. I want to put wheels on it, make it look all right, and uh, weight reduction, that kind of thing. Um, just want to enjoy the car because I've been uh, daily driving this piece of shit for a while now. Like, <laughs> it's been like a couple weeks now. It's been fun, but uh, it's definitely a beater. So it'll be nice to drive something that's a little little nicer. It's got a stereo in it and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, basically what I did is I had a 13C turbo sitting on the shelf. Uh, I didn't have any shaft play in it. And I was like, oh, I'll, just, I'll just toss that in there for now, uh, just so we can get Lawrence on the road running and driving. I've yet to hear this car fire up. So uh, this will actually be the first start video. Um, you guys are gonna witness it. So uh, hopefully it runs all good. We will see how it goes. Uh, so I put a, well, it came with this MAF. Um, yeah, I just got it all hooked up. It's running open down pipe right now. Uh, as you can see down there, it's cut right off. So it's pretty loud, but it's definitely not as loud as the open down pipe NA car. That one's disgusting. Anyways, guys, so let's do a first startup video. I think I have everything. Uh, the oil level I checked was good. Uh, actually, that reminds me, I did not check the coolant level. So let's just do a quick peep of that. Okay, we still got coolant in it. It's not completely drained out, so um, uh, whatever. Uh, this car is not insured right now, and uh, obviously I'll need insurance to go on a big long test drive. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just take you guys for a ride around the block in it, uh, if it runs that is. <laughs> so we'll see, that'll be, that'll be the test. But uh, yeah, we'll just cruise around the block, maybe bump some tunes. Uh, Lawrence has a pretty sweet stereo in it. Uh, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this, I think I did. But uh, it's got it's got two subs in the trunk, an amp. Um, yeah, so it's kind of kind of dope. I haven't actually had a car with a sub in it before. I don't think this is bolted down though, so I'm not going to be doing any crazy drifting stunts or anything. Um, here, maybe I'll move this like that. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, that'll work for now. Uh, we can hear some bumping tunes, block rock and beats. Black rock and beats. Anyways, okay, yeah, that works. Uh, we got all the wires hooked up. Let's see here. Don't want any wires to get pinched. That's good. Hey, it came with four man filters. That's cool. Um, all right. Let's see. Moment of truth here. Here we go, Lawrence. You got it. <laughs> all right. Pop in here. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this thing has a uh, short shift kit in it, which is pretty sweet. Like, it's uh, an adjustable short shift, so it's it's pretty like pretty close to factory right now. But I could actually make it quite a bit shorter, so that's going to be cool. Um, I'll probably end up playing with that in a bit here. Um, oh man, there's just an alarm alarm system everywhere. So hopefully it doesn't like bleep out on me, and who knows? We'll see. Okay, here we go, buddy. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's mint. Okay, it seems to run pretty good. Mixed turbo noises. As you guys can see, I hooked up my boost controller. So I haven't hooked up a uh, boost gauge yet, so I'm not gonna go crazy boosting on it. Um, the gas in this thing is probably really old right now. I forget how long Lauren said uh, this car was sitting for, but um, it was a while, so I'm not gonna go ripping down the road or anything. We're just gonna take it on a quick cruise around the block. Uh, I just wanna see how the clutch feels, how it drives, that kind of thing. Um, then we can start getting into more mods on a later later time. So, it all seems pretty healthy under here. I deleted the idle air control valve. Um, I set the idle with this screw here. One less thing to go wrong. Um, the only difference is it's gonna idle a little bit lower when it's cold, and it's gonna kinda come up a bit once it warms up. That doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it seems all pretty good. All right, this thing actually doesn't run too bad. It's got good compression. Um, as you guys remember, 
I did a compression test on this car not too long ago, uh, and it was like 150 across the board, so which is really good. All right, as you guys can see, I got a new tool kit yesterday. This is long overdue. I needed one of these real bad. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up the GoPro inside there, guys, and then we'll go for a rip. All right, guys. So uh, we're in Lawrence. Oh, this car is smooth. Feels good with this turbo too. So this car actually has an IPD turbo cam already installed, um, which is really cool. Uh, you know what? Actually, one of the quicker cars that I've owned uh, was a 740 turbo, obviously, uh, but it had the stock 13C on it, and it also had a IPD turbo cam. So uh, the quick spool of the 13C helped in the low end, and then the IPD turbo cam helped it ride out and you know have the power in the top end. Um, so it was a pretty potent, like pretty responsive setup um, for budget. You know, it's obviously not going to be too crazy, but yeah, this thing shifts good. The tranny feels really nice. Wow, I'm impressed. Shout out to Lawrence, uh, the guy I bought this off of, um, for selling me a good car. Thanks a lot, Lawrence. So, yeah, this feels good though, man. So listen to the stereo. Oh yeah, stereo bumps. Let's put on some like, some rap or something. Uh, I know to have a hottie open, I keep a shoddy smoking Front and get half the bones in your body broken And when it comes to digging nookie, I'm not a rookie I got girls that make that chick Tony Braston look like whoopee I run with sturdy clicks, I'm never hitting dirty chicks I got 35 bodies, buddy, don't make it 36 Snap that this shit good is going, war is born I leave mites torn when I put it on Alright guys, I'm pretty stoked about this actually Um so I just got into boost a little bit. Feels pretty peppy. Uh, boost is still sitting at about stock, so about you know seven, seven or eight pounds. Um, yeah, this this uh, short shift is pretty notchy feeling. I kind of like it. It's a little a little tighter than the stock one. Um, yeah, I really like this blue interior in this thing. So what I'm going to be doing is obviously gutting. I'm going to take out the sunroof because. Uh, I'm just not a big sunroof fan and there's a lot of weight to be lost up there. Another reason why I do that is because when I wear a helmet in the car, my head actually actually hits the roof because uh, I have a pretty like tall torso. So it gives me a lot more space up there when I'm drifting. So um, yeah, I'll be, I'll probably end up putting, you know, my good steering wheel and all that stuff in this car. Um, so I'm just stoked to be driving it. It's, uh, it's been sitting in my garage for like a month now. But yeah, she drives good. This would be nice. This car has uh, aftermarket shocks and springs on it, so. It's funny, it's like really quiet in here because it still has the carpet. I'm used to cars without the carpet and it's like crazy loud. All right, well. I don't have insurance, so I can't go for too long of a cruise. Uh, I'm gonna park it back in the garage pretty soon here. Um, but yeah, thumbs up. This is good. You guys will be seeing more of this car. All right, guys. So uh, first little test drive of Lawrence went pretty damn good. Uh, I looked under there. It doesn't look like it's leaking any oil or anything. So I guess my handyman skills on the turbo there did all right. Um, yeah, usually these things leak from the oil return line. That's the most common place, obviously. So anyways, it's pretty damn good. I'm stoked about it. Um, yeah, I can't wait to start dialing up this boost controller once I get a boost uh, boost gauge in it. And then we'll kind of, we'll, we'll see what Lawrence can do. But overall, pretty damn good looking car. All right, guys, so that's basically a wrap up of the video today. Um, I more or less just wanted to show you guys that Lawrence is running and you know it's on the road, good to go. So I'm gonna put insurance on this probably today or tomorrow. Um, then I can start kind of doing a little bit more to it, uh, getting it 
exactly how I want it. Um, so actually what I was planning on doing, this car is going to be more of a street car obviously. So I'm going to leave obviously the door panels and the rear seats and the seat belts and that kind of thing in. Um, but you know, I still really do enjoy some weight reduction. I think these cars uh, can always benefit from a little bit of weight reduction. So what I already did actually uh, is I took out all the AC stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do next episode is I'm going to take out the sunroof. Um, it's going to be like a half weight reduction. So weight reduction you can do while still maintaining the kind of stuff that a street car needs, uh, seats and stereo and that kind of stuff, right? So uh, sunroof delete should be about 40 pounds. I've never actually weighed just the sunroof on a dump scale before. I'm going to do that though. So I'll take all the AC, um, all the AC stuff, uh, the sunroof, the headliner, and I'm probably going to remove the carpet as well. Uh, I've never been one to need carpet in my car. I don't mind a metal floor whatsoever. And with these cars, a lot of the time I find the reason that they rust so bad is because water gets caught underneath the carpet and actually eats the floorboards from the inside out. Um, so, you know, you can stop it in its tracks, kind of save the, save the car a little bit by doing that. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that. I'll take all that stuff and then I'll bring it to the dump and we'll see how much that weighs. So, you know, even if I could get like 200 pounds out of it, that's still a pretty good weight reduction. As you guys know, 200 pounds, uh, generally they say it's the equivalent of uh, gaining 20 horsepower or it'll take off about uh, 0.2 of a tenth of a second, or sorry, two tenths of a second off your quarter mile time. Uh, so, of course, I'm gonna do a welded diff. This car has an open diff, uh, so we can just weld it right up. That'll be good. Uh, the brakes were a little little wobbly, but I'm just gonna assume that that's because it hasn't been driven in a long time and it just needs to wear them wear him back into shape again. And uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, I think that's a wrap up. Um, Lawrence, is, Lawrence is with us, dope. So. Lots of fun Volvo stuff to come, guys. Uh, make sure you check out the Drifts and Lift store. I'm going to be bringing out a new design pretty soon here, probably one of Lawrence. Uh, let me know what kind of beer flavor you guys want on that design. Um, and you know what? We probably should be putting out some new designs pretty soon here. So uh, we're going to think of some other cool stuff and get this popping. Because, uh, you know, I'm at the point in life right now. It's either go ahead and, you know, try to make this YouTube thing something. Um, it's getting pretty costly. But uh, you know, I'm not I'm not making enough money so to support myself, but I would like to. So uh, I'm gonna keep on grinding at it, and uh, I'm gonna try to put out a lot more videos for you guys more frequently. Um, you know, more merchandise designs, that kind of thing. Uh, just expand it. Um, you know, I'm gonna cl hopefully collab with some bigger YouTubers, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm having fun, and I hope you guys like the videos. So you know, we're gonna see where it goes. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe for. <laughs> Hard fucking Volvo nipples. Peace out.